So a few new odds and ends and gadgety type stuff for this backpacking thing. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. I do a lot of backpacking videos, a lot of outdoor videos. I even do gear reviews of the things I use on those trips. And today is just kind of a, an overview of some of the things that I just got for this season. So if you're new here, Consider subscribing right down there. That way you don't miss any of the videos that come your way. So I'm leaving on a trip tomorrow. Uh, it's like a four day, four and a half days at about 80 miles, so kind of a high mileage trip. And there's a couple of things that I'm going to bring with me. And these are in no real particular order. I'm just gonna go through them. This is by no means uh, an in-depth review video. It's just kind of like, just, just stuff. First things first, um, I usually wear a watch when I'm on trail. Now daily, my everyday carry watch is an Apple watch, but when I go backpacking, I usually wear like a like a like an Expedition by Timex. It doesn't require charging, it tells the time, it's got glow hands, and, and that's nice because it's very, very basic. But on this trip, I want to bring my Apple watch because I want to track my actual distance, I want to track my the, the fitness app, whatever, it just gives you a little bit more insight um, uh, on how the trip's going, so I want to bring this, however, this is another thing that I have to charge on trail. In addition to my phone, you know, a headlamp, a GPS device, there's a lot of things I need to charge. And I wanted something else to charge my watch because if you have an Apple watch, you know this takes a special charger. Enter this thing. It's a little keychain portable power bank and it's specifically designed to charge Apple watches. Now I went ahead and charged this up and that, that's all it is. It's this thing right here. If you can see this little disc, that's where the Apple Watch sits. So when I'm on trail and I'm you know turning in for the night, I can take this off, turn it on, one click. It should light up. There you go, there's those lights, it's fully charged. And simply the back of the watch goes on this little disc and boom, it's charging. Now the watch has about a 350 milliamp battery, 330 milliamp batteries. This charger has a thousand, so you could probably get two and a half full charges from dead, from a dead watch on this. But most likely I'll probably still have 20 to 30%, so I'm hoping this will uh, last me uh, through the whole trip. Um, but it's, it's sturdy. You can see there's a good magnet on it. The watch won't fall off. Just keep this aside and let that charge. Uh, we do a plan on stopping at a bar, restaurant, so while we're there eating and having a beer, I plan on charging some of these things up. So this little dedicated Apple Watch charger for the trail, I'm, I'm really eager to use this. Um, I'll get a quick weight on it for you gram weenies out there. Um, it weighs 46 grams or 1.6 ounces for those of you that care. So this will go in my electronics bag. Another thing that I got are these. Now, a lot of you probably knows what these are. They're, they're kind of like aqua clips. These aren't the official aqua clips. These are actually just a, a knockoff of, of, of the aqua clip that I got on Amazon. Now, an aqua clip, for those of you who don't know, these literally go onto your smart water bottle, they snap on, and then you can just you know hang it from your sternum strap. You can hang your water bottle from wherever. Now, this is not my intended use for this product. My intended use for this product is for my tripod. Since I film all my videos, I'm always looking for a place to put this when I, when I hike, especially if I'm carrying trekking poles. But I have found, this is an exact reproduction of the Aqua Clip. Other ones didn't work, but this one does. That little circle hook there, it fits on my tripod head, like perfectly, perfectly. Then I'll screw on my, my phone mount. Let me get this screwed on as snug as possible and obviously I'll straighten it out. Now my camera can sit here when I'm not using this. Again, this can go on like my sternum strap and it can just hang there or I can, I can hang it, I can hang it anywhere. So that's that's kind of the, the point of this right now. And these were like what, eight bucks for a three pack. So if they break, whatever. But that's what this is for, the aqua clip for the tripod. This specific one. The other thing that has to do with hanging things is something brand new that I saw. Actually, Dutchware just came out with a video on this. I don't have a knife. That's okay, I don't need a knife. Those are carbide tips, for those of you who don't know. 
Uh, it's by a company by the name of uh, Spud's Adventure Gear. Now, Spud is actually uh, an Appalachian uh, alumni through hiker. He hiked the trail back whenever, and he came up with this idea um, to make stowing your trekking poles easier. And uh, I ordered a few uh, because I was going to use them in a couple of different ones. And Spud wrote me a note. Thank you for ordering from Spud's Adventure Gear. I greatly appreciate you being an early adopter of the Stick Stashers. These are brand new, Stick Stashers. And yes, I bought them you know, with my own money. And the Stick Stashers, it's a very, very cool concept. And I think it takes a little bit of practice to figure it out. But the concept is simple. They're magnet based and they're and they're they're pretty strong. So the idea with these is one magnet goes on your trekking pole. You clamp it onto your trekking pole, right? The other magnet, you know, gets clamped onto your side straps, your compression straps on your backpack. So that way when you need to stow away your sticks, you can just kind of put your stick back here and it will stick and it's supposed to hang on your backpack. So that way, like if you need to pee or if you need to do something, for my case, filming, I could just take these quick, click them onto my backpack, let them hang out back here while I fumble around with my tripod or whatnot. So uh, I'm gonna install these and see how these work. Uh, the other thought I had was, can I use this for my tripod? And if so, where would that go? I don't know, I'm gonna have to experiment. But these are cool. I'm gonna be using this on, on this upcoming trip, so I hope they're as handy as I hope. There's no tools. It looks like uh, just a flat, a small flathead screwdriver. We'll get this going. So, yeah, I'll get these installed. If you want to see these things in action, check out my Centennial Trail video coming out here in a, in a couple of weeks. So, stick stashers. And the last thing I got is on this trip, I'm actually going to be sleeping in a tent. No, no hammocks for this particular trip. So this company reached out to me uh, who makes these these pumps, these little electric pumps. Uh, and you're starting to see them out there. People are starting to carry these little pumps to inflate their, their sleeping pads for their tents. Now, typically I've used one of those pump sacks and you know, they're, they're okay. They're, they're lightweight uh, and they, they fill up your pad just fine. But this is supposed to just help with that process. But the big reason why I like it is I think you can also deflate your pad as well. So you'd be able to suck all the air out of it, make sure it folds as flat as possible, and it can stow your pack even better without having that air bubble in there, right? USB cord to charge it up. And this is the version 3.0. I guess they had two other versions. Um, but it's a little bit bigger than I anticipated. Right, it's, it's, it's fairly sizable. It's got a little, little hanger on there, so you can kind of do that. Uh, there's your charging port and oh, it's got a light. It's not charged, evidently. Oh, hey, hey, look at that. Uh, a couple of different mo. Oh, okay. All right, that's a beacon. And then just off. And then as far as turning it on. Okay. My hair blowing in the breeze. Low. Hi, okay, that was dramatic. Let's see what kind of pads these fit on. They give you a bunch of adapters for a bunch of different uh, applications. One is to fill up like, like pool toys, you know, with the little nozzle. Then you got all these other specialty nozzles for different applications. So let's just figure it out, shall we? First pad is my Nemo Tensor. This is my insulated pad. This is the one I am actually bringing on this trip because it's still supposed to get down to freezing, close to freezing. Um, and this one has a one-way valve. And if, uh, if you pull just the top half off, you can blow in and it won't let the air escape. So I just need to find what fits. Does that fit? I don't know. Does this fit? Oh. Or do I just... Uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing here. So that's just a pressure fit in there. Let's get rid of these guys for now. And this is the closest in there. So let's just... Uh... No, 
okay, it's working. It's, it's working pretty well. I'm not doing anything special. I'm just holding it on the nozzle. And uh, she's inflating. The downside to these kinds of pumps, as you can already tell, it's loud. This thing is loud. You know, enjoying, you know, a nice sunset and some guy walks into camp blowing this thing. Okay, that 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 was easy enough. Let's try my climate pad. This is my summertime pad, non-insulated. And this one has one of these little twisty little twisty valves. So we're going to open that up and I'm thinking it's probably this one, right? So how do I Let's go like this. And this goes on here. Ah. Why is this my life so hard? Put that on here. And then this goes in here, maybe? There's instructions, but I mean, obviously I'm not looking at those. Okay, it, okay, let's see if that works. Get this on here and then let her rip. Uh, a lot of air is escaping. Yeah, it works. Again, super loud. It looks like a, like a jet engine. Good lord. Yeah. Doesn't get you lightheaded from blowing into this thing. Um, yes, it's loud. Uh, it's, it's, it's fast. Um, but like I said, I want to know how to suck the air out of it. So, this is the air intake. This is the where it blows out of. I'm just going to fashion it on top so now it's going to take air away. So let's give that a go. Let's see how fast it, uh, it deflates these pads. Okay. Oh, not, not great for deflation. This has a double valve, so I'm going to take off the big valve. Stick this down in there. Okay, I think you get the idea. Um, does it deflate as well as I want? Not really. Um, it's an interesting feature, but I think you can use it maybe to, to fan fires or something like that. Nifty gadgets. Uh, the light, the different levels, then of course, how much does it weigh, right? Uh, let's take a look. Base weight without any of the attachments. We're looking at 167 grams or 5.9 ounces. So, I mean, not super light if you're counting grams, but lightweight for a pump. You know, you take this car camping. Uh, you can use it as a lantern, you know, fill up those big mattresses. You could take this backpacking. Um, I'm debating on taking it on this trip. Uh, it's hard to say, but these pumps definitely have their use, especially if you're car camping or boondocking, that kind of thing. Um, but uh, definitely kind of like a, just a little powerhouse. And then of course, that's one more light you don't need to bring. Those are my gadgets. Uh, quick little update, uh, but I'm excited to get out of here. If you have any questions about this stuff, just leave those questions down below in the comment area. I'm happy to answer you know anything I can, but get out on trail, find your own adventure, and see this big beautiful world as much as you can. All right, now I gotta clean all this crap up. I'll see you on the next one. Okay, stick stashers. I got the magnetic mounts on my pack, and the magnetic mounts on my trekking poles. So this is gonna go. Where is it? Is it right there somewhere? Can't see. Higher. Lower. Can't see. <laughs> oh wait, I got one. I got one. Woo! Ooh, am I close? Am I close? The one doesn't shake off. The one's good. Ah! That's both of them. That's both of them. We shaking. We're hiking. This one's shaking. Don't do jumping jacks and they'll work just fine. <laughs>